I suppose after talking about how all of this has really worked on my writing style and confessing that it's gotten me going back over some of my other books and manuscripts that I've been working on already and helping me revise them, I might as well confess that it's helped me rethink and revive my enthusiasm about a project I've been plotting for a long time. I just never really felt like I could pull it off. Raymond Chandler is one of my heroes, and his character, Phil Marlowe, The Big Sleep, The Long Goodbye, you know, those, those books I've loved. Dashiell Hammett with Sam Spade and The Maltese Falcon is another one. Absolutely fantastic. And I've always wanted to write something like that. I knew that was going to be ambitious, and I knew that it would be like me going from the opening match in a wrestling show to getting myself booked in the main event with one of the world champions. It was going to be the fight of my life, and I probably wouldn't do too well. Granted, I could say I got all kinds of experience from that, but if your goal is to do the best and it's something you want to put everything into, you don't want to get bruised and battered and left to learn from your mistakes when you're done. You want to be able to have your hand held in the center of the ring. Held up, not held. And I am really glad that I had this past trip out to MurderCon because I think this has finally given me some of the keys that I need to pull it off. I'm disciplining myself to not start on it until I've finished the final revision of the manuscript I'm working on now. I think now I can do it. And I'm looking forward to it. And I hope that when I am done and it is published and you pick it up and you sit down on a dark and stormy night, to read it, that you feel the same way. <laughs>